Damian Tomlinson talk about, you know, the legacy that he has established in this league and, and the fact that um and the fact that the you know, of course the media loves to loves to see what you did yesterday and then mm-hmm. criticize that, but of course not really see what you can do today and tomorrow. So talk about um what L T can bring to the table. Well, you know, he's an all purpose running back. And like I say, the guy has a lot of juice left, and he's going to have a great year. Mm -hmm. But just to be around him and watch him work and watch him prepare, you know, there's no wonder why he's so successful. Mm -hmm. He's a a true pro. He do things the right way. His approach is very professional. And, you know, he's a very talented young man. He's going to help us in a lot of ways. Wow. No, I I see that definitely. I definitely see that. And I think he has – I think he definitely has another couple seasons left for sure. No question about it. At least, you know, yeah. definitely with his work ethic, like he was saying, and and oh, Sean Green, major impact under your tutelage for sure. Um, and and he broke out against the Raiders in Oakland, you know, when he had a major game mm-hmm. after Leon Washington had his uh, yeah. leg injury. Um, so so talk about how how much can Sean Green really improve in year two? You know, he can improve with his durability alone. You know, I like to see what Sean can do over 16 weeks. You know, that's one reason why, you know, we let him take, you know, take control and, and be the starter this year and let a guy like Thomas go is because we have so much trust and faith in Sean. Mm-hmm. But over 16 weeks with the production that he gave us last week in a short period of time, you know, I think he can put up good numbers, but mm-hmm. he's got to stay healthy. He has all the tools. He has a work ethic and everything that go with being a, a starting back in his league, mm-hmm. but he just have to stay healthy and prove that he can do it over 16 weeks. Mm-hmm. But Sean Green's our guy. You know, I say our guy, but we have situational starters. Mm-hmm. You know, I've told those two guys the best player is going to play. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, LT has never been a backup a day in his life. So it, this will be a very competitive training camp. Yes. And I see us at times having situational starters. Mm-hmm. You know, a guy that may start in this personnel grouping, a guy that may start in this personnel grouping or in this situation in the game. Mm-hmm. Wow. And, and I want to ask you about the, about the young running backs behind uh, Sean Green and LaDainian Thompson. You have Joe McKnight, the rookie out of SC, and also, too, from SC, Chauncey Washington. Talk about um, their chances to make an impact uh, this year. Can they, can they do that? Coming? Well, I think everybody's going to have an opportunity to make an impact. You know, we'll, we'll have a better idea coming out of training camp, but our personnel department, Mike Tannenbaum and his guys, they did a good job of uh, giving us uh, a nice young group of backs mixed with some experience. Mm-hmm. So uh, we think that can be very potent in our backfield, especially running behind our talented offensive line. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, Joe McKnight, you know, he is a Leon Washington type. You don't replace a Leon Washington, but a guy like Joe McKnight, he do have some of those skills uh, in the passing game and in space. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In open space, that's right. Yeah. You know, definitely. And then, you know, and to talk about Chauncey, Chauncey's a bigger back. He, he can be one of those guys that you can use in critical situations, mm-hmm. goal line, short yardage, four-minute offense, mm-hmm. and you, you can also line up and play on first and second down. So you always like playing with a big back because you can use him in a lot of different situations. Mm-hmm. And then you go to that young fullback we brought in from Kentucky, yeah, John Connor. John Connor. Yeah. He is a uh, <laughs> nickname is Terminator. <laughs> nickname is Terminator for a reason. That's right. Uh, he's a heck of a football player, and he's going to be a fine prospect along with uh, uh, Davis. Mm-hmm. Uh, Davis mm-hmm. is also competing for that fullback position. Oh, so, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Wow. And and, and uh, wow. And Tony Richardson. Tony brings great leadership and experience to our backfield, and he can be a mentor to some of those younger guys in the room throughout the year. And if they just watch the way he prepare mm-hmm. and the way he get ready, you know, that that, that means a lot. Wow. That's a, that's, he's a great example for our whole football team. And that's, and that's an example of pay it forward because he learned that from Marcus Allen. Absolutely. On how to take care of yourself and how to take care of your body early and do the right thing, set a foundation so then you can – be able to to play late. Absolutely, I mean th- those are, those those are just intangibles that you know you can't pay for, and that you know you don't teach that guys see that from other other pros, mm-hmm. and they learn that way better than they do coming from me. So mm-hmm. uh, it's just a blessing to have a guy like Tony around and LT. It's your approach to coaching and your approach to communication with your players, especially with techniques, like what are the things that you really emphasize? And and also another question, do you work a lot with the offensive line coach as well? Well, to answer your first question, you know, yeah, we work technique and fundamentals every single day. Mm-hmm. You know, I do believe uh, when it's all said and done, the team that performed the best 
technique wise, fundamental wise, especially under pressure, mm -hmm. is the teams that prevail in the end. Mm -hmm. So we hit those every single day. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to bore you and your audience with all those details that oh, we no, do. No, no, please but, come on, come on, no, no. But, I mean, it's, it's for real sports fans. You I, know what I'm saying? No, <laughs> <laughs> I got you. But you know, it, it's a lot of little things that go into it. Sometimes people think you're just running the ball, but no, their, their reads, their blocking schemes, their footwork, their pre snap reads, the things that you eliminate. You know, that's a reason that back may run here or run there. Mm -hmm. All those things are determined sometimes before the balls even snap. So it's not just pure instincts or, or running ability. There's a whole lot of in, intelligence that go into running the football. Mm -hmm. These guys have incredible football IQs. Wow. So I, I, I give that to them. To play on this level, you have to. And not to even to mention the pass protection part. All the that's schemes so and essential. looks that you get from defenses today compared to when I played, it's unbelievable. It's night and day. Wow. These young men have to be like surgeons on the football field to protect that quarterback wow. because they have a lot coming at them.